How are they high value, but can't take rejection? Mary Spears. In 2014, Mary attended a party where she was approached by a 38-year-old man named Mark Dorch. He asked for her name and phone number, and she declined, stating that she could not talk to him because she had a man. Mark continued to harass her throughout the duration of the party, which ultimately led to him being kicked out. Around 2 o'clock that morning when Mary left, Mark was outside and he approached her again. A confrontation ensued and Mark shot Mary three times, twice in the head and injuring five other people. Mary left behind a host of family and friends, a fiance and one, four and eight year old sons. And I'm sure like myself, many of you will find affinity in her story because you've been through similar circumstances. It's just unfortunate that she did not survive this incident and that it resulted in violence in the first place. And sadly, there is nothing unique about her story either. This is 29-year-old Janice Talton Jackson, who was killed after rejecting a man's sexual advances at a bar. This is 22-year-old college student Tierra Poyu. Forgive me if the pronunciation is incorrect. She was shot in the face by a man after she declined to dance with him in broad daylight at a festival. This is 22-year-old Lakia Walker, who was attacked by a man after she didn't thank him for holding a door. This is 23-year-old comedian Paris Sachet, who was attacked by a group of men and woke up in the hospital with a broken nose after she declined their advances. I'm sure many of you have heard that you should just give a fake number, give a Google number, give your actual number and block them later. Just say no smiling, just say no like this, just hee hee ha ha, say you have a man. The problem is not us, the problem is them. And at some point, I'm hoping that our community can acknowledge and eliminate the catcalling and harassment that women face every single day.